the inner game of tennis, written in the 1970s, before we knew the words multitasking and mindfulness, but now we know those words. In the inner game of tennis, the only task was to say very silently the word bounce when it bounced on the opponent's side, and you'd whisper hit when they hit it, and on your side of the net, you'd whisper bounce at the bounce, and you'd feel the hit. And what Tim Galloway knew was that we're too cognitive on the court. We're not present. We're in our heads. We're not watching the ball. And many times, thoughts about how to play interfere with simply how clearly you see and feel the ball. The inner game of tennis was about learning to become present with the ball, cut out the multitasking, and what you're going to find is that the better you are with your eyes and the ball, the more quiet you are in your head, the cognitive channels that are turned off, you'll be better for it. And this is a practice resource, but this is also a competitive resource. The inner game, priming to win.